we got a mini episode for you today. And when I say mini, I don't mean half an hour, as we really, you know, have not really had small episodes. <laughs> I'm your host, one of John, and these are my other hosts. Charlie. And Thomas. And I just sent you all a picture. What does that look like to you? I'm sending you a picture of what is known as Transformers Base Camp. This is a surprise to Charlie and Thomas what this episode is. I assume it's stuff you have not heard of before. No. It's exciting. Okay, I see. Universal Studios. I mean, I guess they just had a uh, uh, a section of Universal Studios that was dedicated to Transformers. And it's funny because there's a statue. Well, I don't know if that's really a statue. It's like a plastic thing of Optimus Prime holding his gum up to the air. But below, you can definitely see people dressed as Starscream and Jazz. So it looks like it's just a fun, oh wow, Base Camp is even in the Transformers logo and coloring. It apparently was in Universal Studios 1985 to 1986. How old was everybody, everybody for those years? Um, I, three? I mean, I was, depending on what, I, it went, what it was, I mean. I was three years old. I definitely <laughs> yeah. was not a year quite yet. It depends. On, <laughs> I was some number of months. <laughs> Toddlers. That's funny. I know I went to Florida when I was in elementary school or so because my grandparents would vacation down there. Some were going once or twice, but I don't remember. I was too young when we went to Disney to remember, even though there's pictures. But we never went to Universal. Have you guys been to Universal Studios when you were kids? Uh, me, no. Actually, I've never been to Universal Studios. I know it sounds sad, but I don't like Disney much. I've been to Magic Kingdom a lot, and I don't like the lines. Yeah, I don't know this, if is, this is Universal. Is this is not Disney. Yeah, but it's still, everything down there has ridiculous lines. <laughs> oh, well, that's true, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah I'm a Floridian, I, okay? <laughs> I've been to some of the parks, the Disney parks, and if you're a person who doesn't like lies, then those parks are not for you. Yeah. Well, if you're going yeah. by yourself, yes, I have that video and a link for you guys. Don't jump the gun yet. I, I just sent you a link that actually shows you a ton of pictures. Basically, the link, uh, there's this one link I sent you from thestudiotour.com, and it just shows Meet the Transformers and has about 10 pictures of people dressed as jazz Starscream and Grimlock. Those were your Transformers that you could meet, as well as one of the ads that says... So basically, this is what the ad used to look like. So do you guys see those pictures of all the Transformers and then Lazy Megatron that you could get your picture in front of? Lazy Megatron. Lazy <laughs> Megatron, yeah. How do you know he didn't just get shot? Wow. It's just so funny looking. He just looks like he's <laughs> laying down, getting a tan, and just, you know, he's his gun is attached to his arm, so it's not like he can do anything with it. So even when he's chilling, it looks like he's about ready to kill you. Well, you know, before we started this show, before I really reviewed some of the Transformers episodes, the thing that I actually remember the most as a kid is them sunning themselves on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Which made me think, wow, what a what a silly concept, you know? Like, just robots chilling doing a lot of nothing <laughs> yeah it's just weird though like the, the the three transformers they choose are grimlock jazz and starscream megatron and optimus are there but only to take pictures in front of well i you can't take one of optimus he's on the roof so these are terrible <laughs> maybe they thought that they were the uh most popular decepticon and autobots yeah well is- outside of megatron and and uh, Optimus. Some of these sculptures look like they use like just some boxes or something. <laughs> They're not yeah. very proportional. 
There's a few more pictures in the other link I sent you, but it's really only just like three extra pictures that want on that previous link. Like, this looks like a rip off. <laughs> like it's so funny to see Grimlock and Jazz shaking hands, or there's actually one of them interacting with some kids in front of their Arc Super computer because I, I guess you got to stand in line. <laughs> it's it's just really funny. Oh my god, there's like there's a picture of the two kids. Oh, Megatron is actually really huge because there are two kids sitting on his shoulder to get a picture. And their feet, even another kid hanging from his feet would not touch the bottom of Megatron. You had to climb up there to get a picture on Megatron. Yeah, if this Megatron (laughs) was standing up, he'd probably be at least 10 feet. They had Energon cubes in the corner. I guess they just had lights in them, but as a kid, that would probably be so cool to see these little Energon cubes. Yeah. And um, some of these are are guys, and some of them are maybe they're just statues. I can't tell. I think it's funny. It looks like there is a TV showing a cartoon of Transformers constantly too in the corner. And this is not just limited to Universal Studios. While I was researching this, I also found that this was a traveling exhibit. They just happened to have one that was stationary at Universal Studios. I saw old ads for, like, coming to California for the month of July, the Transformers base camp. So it was was traveling the United States and had multiple locations. And who knows how many they had going at one time, or if if it was just one, and traveling to major cities and be, like, advertising in the newspapers. I can imagine that as a kid being like, Transformers are coming to your area. I have seen the Voltron special features. So they did actually have people dressed up as the characters from Voltron going to different malls the year that Voltron came out. And that got a ton of people to them all across the United States. Hell, I remember like running into somebody dressed as Spider-Man when I was a little kid walking into a new store that had opened up. Yeah, I definitely don't remember anything like that. This is like the very first time I've seen any of this stuff. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be curious to see the commercial that they have, the little, uh, see if it's just tied in with this this fried chicken sponsor that they have. Uh, (laughs) With Out of This World 2010 special effects, spectacular. And they also mentioned there's an A-Team live action show and you can sit inside the Kit Knight Rider car while you're also there. So that's that's the context of what else was popular at the time. Cool. I remember when I was there, I saw the train from Back to the Future and the DeLorean from Back to the Future, which I didn't know at the time had been just left to rot and was only fixed up like a few years before I got there. They'd just been sitting it outside in the rain for like 20 some years. Why do American studios do that? It's like, okay, you have a a highly popular movie of some type and they're like, oh yeah, let's just throw the reels in this damp closet and (laughs) take all the props and just put them out in the sun. (laughs) Yeah, well, I remember there's a backlog, back when Universal, I think I might've gone there as a child if this is the one that had, yeah, that has the water that rushes on you while you're on a train. So you, the train, like you think you're going to get flooded because the train comes to a stop and then all this water just gushes down as if it's going to knock the train over and knock you all into the water to your death. And it was this giant like train ride that was like a 20 minute or so tour that they don't do anymore. And it took you around the entire Universal Studios it would also have a mix of stuff like that. Like, oh, now we're going on this part that has like a, a feature on it. But most of the time it'd be like, now we're going to the 1950s town, uh, which is where everybody got food or had parades or walked around and stuff. And you, and if you were walking, you had to get out of the way of this train thing that was going around everywhere. And I remember going to the back lot and it was just tons of all the vehicles from shows. Like there was the spaceship from Flight of the Navigator um, and the, if I remember correctly, the chopper from blue thunder even though no one knows what that is it was just a row to row of like 30 vehicles from movies and everybody's like "Ooh, you can see all the cool movie vehicles and that might have been where the back to the future was at that time period in the 80s because now it's just like you walk by it and it just looks really cool but anyway just real quick let's see um if this is just another link of the same pictures 
Oh, more of jazz. That's uh, yeah. It's just more of the back of jazz and the back of star screen mixed with the same pictures. Okay, here's the video. It's at minute eight forty on the video. If you want to see the amazing Transformers and O.J. Simpson commercial. Ah, summertime. Great for relaxing with friends and enjoying Pioneer's summer fun special. You get eight large pieces of golden Pioneer chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, and coleslaw for just $6.99. And Pioneer's even got free coupons for Universal Studios Tour with the biggest discounts, including a free admission. There's exciting attractions like Transformers Base Camp, 2010 Spacewalk, and much more. Of course, Pioneer Chicken Summer Fun Special for $6.99 is a great way to make new friends, right, fellas? That was actually very quick. Yes, I, I know. I thought there would be it, more, it, you know. Yeah, it's the only evidence it's it they have of it on video. The commercial is basically like, uh, this is what we currently have at the park. <laughs> yeah. And it's you just, get to see it's just a, part of one, our list of other things that are happening. You get to see one uh, one and a half seconds of the Transformers moving their faces and bam. <laughs> the only thing is what is Pioneer Chicken? <laughs> I've never, ever heard of that. Yeah, I've never heard of them, but I'm guessing it's some regional thing. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, part of gas stations. Like, yeah, it, it looks like, like Dodge's Chicken. You only find those thing. at, like, Dodge's gas stations. Yeah. Even though that doesn't really show you much, there is another one that has pictures of it in a video for Universal Studios Tour and actually has a live He-Man and Skeletor and She-Ra kind of fight thing but mainly is just pictures of the Transformers, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, and I forgot it has Hordak, which looks awesome. As a kid, I would have thought that would have looked really awesome, seeing him in live action. These are the same pictures on the video. Yeah. Um, I think there's one more, if this is the same, if this is the one about the guy who was actually there. They found the jazz costume from that. It was just stored in a warehouse. And someone <laughs> found it. Wow. So was Jazz not used? Because there was one no, garage, it, it, it and Starscream. When they were done, they just stored them somewhere. So It says a comic shop in Pennsylvania found the costume in a closed warehouse. <laughs> and I guess you can see that they got little fans to keep themselves warm. And it says they had a costume with Thundercracker. So there was another Transformer which is probably, this is from the the traveling show, too. That's probably why they probably had to split a lot of the costumes. But who knows? Because there's really nothing you can find about this thing anywhere. And I actually watched all of the Universal hour-long videos from 1984, 5, and 6 to see if any of Transformers was in there from the actual tour because there were some people that brought their camera and filmed the entire tour while they're on it and i just looked through a lot of those home videos and no one no one ever had the video camera out when going to transformers <laughs> well it'd have to be a camcorder though if that would be pretty um yeah a lot of them didn't have sound uh <laughs> but the actual universal videos Universal, and they never included Transformers in it in their 85, 86 video. I guess it was a small thing they were doing and just a space yeah. filler. <laughs> but if you scroll down there after the jazz costumes, there is one final video that will show you the costumes. If you want to just click that, it's like 30 seconds and it's a promo about the Transformers tour. Our next destination is Great America. Affirmative. We will let kids 4 to 12 come in for half price with coupon from Sunday's paper. Plus, the first thousand kids each day get a free poster. See? That's right, Jazz. If you see the Transformers in Great America, you'll get a free poster. There's great rides. There's Smurfs. Plus, the Transformers, September 14th, 15th, 21st, and 22nd. We're coming all the way from Cybertron. Hope to see you at Great America. That was more of the moving Transformers. I'm kind of mad at the batteries inside the Transformers costume. <laughs> Why is that? How many there are. 
<laughs> it's just that uh, that would be so bulky <laughs> and uncomfortable, probably. What is it? Like, and that cost and that commercial was just called Transformers Great America Promo, which I assume is kind of like my own Camden Park I had in West Virginia, which is just a very small amusement park for kids. It looks like this thing holds like sixteen A size batteries, like double A size. Sixteen. <laughs> yeah. No, there might be eight, maybe. That could be sixteen. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I and I had found this and the next thing on the Transformers. There's a Transformers podcast called Slag Podcast. And I've listened to a few of his on YouTube. And he had a whole thing about this as well as there was actually a Japanese Transformers theme park in development that they found sketches for, but it never advanced past the design stage and was canceled. And I was like, how awesome would that have been if there was a Transformers theme park? Or at least do what they do now. You know, Universal's got that whole Mario section. Can you imagine if they had a cool Transformers just movies only? Another thing that's funny about the costume is, do you see what that um, the speaker is plugged into? <laughs> no. What? Do you see the knobs? It's like one of those reverb things for guitars. No. Oh. <laughs> so make the voice sound cool. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the Transformers stuff. Tom- this, if it had existed, you know, maybe when you were four months old. Uh, specifically for this? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I would have been enticed, but I, it would have been up to my parents at that age. <laughs> yeah. That He-Man and She-Ra thing, I mean, that whole deal, I would have loved to go to that. I loved, at age four, I used to watch She-Ra every day, like, religiously. Yeah at 3 yeah, I, p.m., 4 p.m., whenever it came on, so. Yeah, I just remember I really loved He-Man and Hordak, like, as a kid. And I also watched she all the time, too. But, like, uh, that would have been really fun as a kid, also. she and Brave Star. I just could not miss those every day. My mom <laughs> was watching soaps. I had a reminder. Yep, so that was a little fun to show you. And if you guys have anything else extra to say... Would you have liked to see a, a Transformers theme park, either of you? Uh, I mean, as long as it has the space bridge and a shockwave. As a a shockwave, shockwave shooting at me and missing me constantly. Oh my god. Now you just imagine, like, I want one of those space bridges that all it does is, like, it spins around and then it lights up, just like in the show. That would be hilarious. I mean, it's, the space bridge is basically a ride already. You just go inside, and then there's a hole where you can pretend to hide so that, you know, people think you actually got teleported somewhere. Uh, but would be yeah. one of those things that would be hard to remember <laughs> later. <laughs> like, you go to Universal Studios, and, and there's guys in suits, Transformer suits, and you take a little picture, except for the picture that your mom took of you, you know, on Megatron's shoulders. You have no recollection of what you saw that day. <laughs> so any any last thoughts, you guys? Nope. All right, Charlie? Uh, nope. <laughs> right. Well, thanks for listening to this mini tour of something you might not have known existed. Sign off, this is Sean. Charlie. And Thomas. Thank you for listening to SparkCast. Please help support the show by looking at my Patreon under Realms of Flux, and also the Patreon for Geek Aid.